Do you know a place called Mont Afula? You are from Mpula. He has given that authority to the church to teach the angels. God of the world and spirit, power in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. about uh, Jesus being in her and she was revealing how <laughs> hey, the kind of potential we have inside and the spirit of God when she was speaking is revealing to me she, he is saying you know we received the Holy Spirit but the first one to receive uh, in the book of Matthew or Luke is Jesus the Bible says when John the Baptist was baptizing him he saw the Holy Spirit come like a dove from heaven and landing upon his shoulders. Praise the Lord. Now, okay. The Holy Spirit landed on his shoulders. And the kind of impact we are seeing in the ministry of Jesus is the Holy Spirit landed on the shoulders of Jesus. And now the Bible is saying how God anointed Jesus, the Holy Spirit upon him, with the Holy Spirit and with the power, who went about, listen, doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Now, why did we receive the Holy Spirit? To continue what Jesus began. So we receive the Holy Spirit that Jesus received to continue the same thing that he began, what Jesus began to do and to teach. Now, that was the Holy Spirit upon the shoulder. Now, imagine us, we receive the Holy Spirit on the inside. He came and we became, our bodies have become the temples of the Holy Ghost. This is why he dwells. He doesn't just come and depart. He dwells on the inside of me. There is something on the inside of me that the world has not understood. There is something on the inside of you that the world has not understood. The Bible says the world cannot receive the Spirit. Hallelujah. But we have received of the Holy Ghost. There is something on the inside. There is something on the inside of me. There is something on the inside of us. That if we were to be opened up and to see. Sin cannot have dominion yeah. us anymore. Because once light has come, darkness clears all the way. There is something about the Holy Ghost. Ah. Listen, he said that this light came, but men could not understand it. Yes. That means that the light has come to us. And he said that the glory that you have given to me, I have given to these ones. The same glory that was upon Jesus has been given unto us. The same kind of impartation, the same kind of ministry. And he said that those who believe greater things than this, they shall do. So there is something about us that we have not yet understood. There is something about us that when light has come, oh, Rebekah, that when light has come and we begin to get understanding, we can effect change in our world. We can effect change and bring solutions to our world. It is not okay when people are mocking our God and we are alive. It is not okay. But there is a generation that is rising. There is an army that is rising. An army that will stand and speak things. We have seen the power of God in the former glory. The anything, listen, any miracle that has happened yesterday is already in the past. Glory. Okay, sir. We are looking forward to miracles that will happen in the future. Ooh, they so said that Archbishop Idahosa collected the brain of a man and spoke in tongues and the man came back to life. That is in the former glory. That is what we call the latter rain and the former rain. And when you combine both of them, we call it the rain. That means any miracle that happened in the past, we have access to it and we have access to even things that will happen in the future. We have seen Prophet Makandiwa growing legs. And our own father growing legs. That means in our time, there should be having amputated legs being revealed. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. So there is something about us as young people on the inside that is even bigger than us crying we don't have jobs. There is something on the inside that when we get to intimate with the Holy Ghost, there is something why our fathers are teaching us to pray. It is bigger than gathering a crowd. Woo! We sit down and we begin to pray. Gayele Maza. Arisa Bako Prega. Sapiro Samina. Amakur Namasis Kebedia. We become more united with the Holy Ghost. 
And when a man, listen, the Bible says, if God is for us, who can be against us? Not disease, not government, nothing can stand against us. There is no thing in the entire world that can stand whatever is inside of us. Do you know why? Because greater is he hey, that is in me than he that is in the world. I have something on the inside. I may not fully know it yet, but the more I look at the word of God, the Bible says, Beholding us in a mirror. Woo! Woo! Beholding us in a mirror. We are, we are sending transformed to the same image that we Shakata. That means when I look at Jesus in the word of God, I am transformed into the image of Jesus. And there is something the Bible says. Listen, he says that Jesus is the image of the invisible God. That means I am transformed into the image of God. There will come a time when men will look at you and they will do the same thing that they did with Moses. When Moses came from the presence, they looked at him. They could not look at his face because we have been transformed into the same image of Jesus. We are transformed into the same image of You're God. Good, sir. I wish your friends understood who they were watching a movie with. It is a person that is coming the Holy Spirit. The same Holy Spirit upon Benihi. The same Holy Spirit upon Paul. The same Holy Ghost upon Jesus, Son of God. It's the same Holy Ghost. Whatever he did with them, he can do it with us. He's not a respecter of men. I have seen men that cannot shout but can command nations. Tell me one moment when he hear the boy shouting. It is not there. It is not. No. But when it stands like this, the same Holy Ghost. <laughs> he commands nations. Not by power. Not by might. But by the, by the spirit. spirit. So whoever is on the inside of us, this was on a light Whoever is on the inside oh, I love the of us is so great. He's bigger than Alexander the Great. Uh -huh. He's bigger than the American president. He's the one who positions who should be in power. He's the one who has been there since the beginning. He's called the Holy Ghost. When the world was about to be framed and they were about to put the foundations of the earth, the Bible says even the Spirit of God was hovering upon the face of the deep. He is the one who has interacted with the civilizations of men. He knows how men interact. He knows how men can live. He knows what men are going through. And this word says that he's on the inside of it. My God. What's surprising is that Jesus. even what men would brag about to have today, even that God gave to them. Uh -huh. No greater man would ever dare say, I created. Yes. If they do, they did by the substance was that was given by God. Yes. So it makes sense what you are saying. That is so powerful. He is greater. It's indeed God is greater. God is great. I can only tell you what he tells me. God is about to recruit Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.